What's going on, Perform24 family? Levi Jekyll back in the garage, back with another video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the GORUCK Rucker 3.0 25 liter in Coyote. Check this bad boy out. Man, I have been so excited to show this off. Um, I waited a very long time to get this. Uh, partly because I actually wanted to make a comparison video between a bad rucksack or a cheap rucksack, which I will be doing in this video, um, and then partly just because this wasn't in stock for a very long time. Um, obviously, you can see this is a pretty big bag. Um, it is a 25 liter. It does have the hip belt, um, and I've put about, I don't know, 12, 15 miles on it already, um, so I've got a pretty good handle um, on how it compares to just a cheap rucksack. Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of you know how I discovered the world of rucking, um, and then why I was attracted to it, and then why in the world you know I need a bag like this to begin with. Um, and then I'm also going to show you kind of the ins and outs and kind of comparisons and advantages uh, between a nice rucksack like the the Rucker 3.0, um, and then like a $35 rucksack that I've been using for the last year and a half. Um, and then I'm going to show you kind of the plate compatibility um, for the Rucker 3.0. This was something that I was a little unsure about when I ordered it. Um, I kind of took a shot in the dark because I wasn't exactly sure that it was going to be able to do what I, I hoped it would. Um, and then it ended up playing out perfectly. So I'm going to give you that information um, on what you can expect from the different Ruck plates as well. Okay, so just to give you a little context on how I even came into this rucking world to begin with, uh, my actual job is running um, a performance training facility here in Tampa, Florida called Perform24. Um, this is a company that I started in 2014, um, and we work with athletes and local adults, and then um, we've been working with former and current military personnel as well. So a couple of years ago, I started working with a handful of young guys um, that were pursuing a career in the military. Um, and as we started getting into their preparation and started doing research on what you know their job, their future job was going to entail, um, you know we come across this this rucking thing. Um, and at the time, I didn't know anything about it. Um, and so I started working with them to build rucking programs, and they had uh, resources that I reached out to, and we kind of built this uh, rucking progression to help prepare them, you know, for their future careers. Um, and after you know they were kind of gone and into their into their military world, I kind of forgot about rucking until a year and a half ago when the world shut down. Um, and like a lot of you guys, I started looking into training modalities outside of the gym. Um, and I kind of circled back to rucking personally. Um, and so I started integrating rucking into my regular training routine. Um, at the time, I was also running a lot. And so I was having this direct comparison between how I was feeling while I was running and then how I was feeling while I was rucking. Um, and I kind of fell in love with rucking. Um, and you know, just like a lot of you guys, um, once you get into rucking, you discover Go Ruck. Um, and so I started following Go Ruck and started following their world um, about a year and a half ago. And again, like a lot of you guys, I just absolutely fell in love with them. Um, so for the last year and a half, I have been rucking uh, personally in my own training program. If you follow me on Instagram, you definitely see me out there on the roads. Uh, but then I also started integrating rucking into some of my clients programs and even into some of my athletes programs for like active recovery um, and just like a little extra movement in their week. Um, I made an entire video about that called rucking for athletes um, if you want to go check that out. So for the last year and a half I've personally been rucking um, and I've been rucking with this super cheap rucksack. So I made a blog Yes, an old school written out, typed up blog on how to build a rucksack uh, for under $100. And that is including the weight. Um, and this is the bag that I've been using uh, for the last year. So I think this bag was like $35. Bucks. Um, and as you can see, there's zero padding. You know, there was no padding to begin with. Um, and it is, like I said, it's just been worked over the last year and a half. Um, so it's even more beat up than usual. Uh, but there's, there's no padding in the shoulder straps. There's no padding in the hip belt whatsoever. Um, all this thing that basically does is just lash itself to my hips. Um, it doesn't add any support or anything like that. Um, there's no frame sheet in it. So this thing, you know, there's no structure to this bag whatsoever. You could probably ball it up and like stuff it in a Ziploc bag if you want to. I've got buckles that are broken. 
You know, this thing doesn't even snap anymore. I've got ties that are like tied off because they just kept on like ripping out while I was rucking. So I had to tie them off. I can't even trust the buckles on here. Um, so anyways, this is a very, very cheap rucksack. However, it has lasted a year and a half and I have put this thing to work. So, um, you know, as much of a hard time as I'm giving this bag, I also got to get a props uh, because it probably did way more work than it was designed to do. Uh, so, RIP old rucksack. Boom, and now here is the Rucker 3.0. So you can just see, um, just by the shape of it, you know, that it's got a little structure to it. Um, you can see by the size of it that it is significantly bigger. Um, and that's got some advantages, um, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but the thing that I really want to highlight right out of the gate is that these straps are extremely padded. Um, they are pretty stiff, you know, they've got, uh, they've got some rigidity to them, which I really appreciate. Um, and then this frame sheet. And this might seem counterintuitive, but you actually don't want a flexible bag while you're rucking. Um, the more structure that your bag has, uh, the easier it is to load up with weight. Um, this bag in particular, so it's got a nice padded frame sheet, and this thing is stiff, you know, like you can't like fold this up. I definitely can't bend it sideways. You know, I can kind of bend it lengthways uh, just because it's a little bit longer, but I can't bend it. You know, it's pretty firm. Um, but then here at the bottom, hopefully the camera picks this up. The bottom there um, has a little extra padding as well. Now, I'm, I'm a little bit of a bigger dude. I'm 6'2", 205, um, and the length and width um, and then this extra padding here at the bottom uh, just fits like the natural curvature of my spine really, really well. Um, so, you know, the size and shape of this bag is significantly superior uh, to the bag that I've been using. All right, another nice feature that I like about the Rucker 3.0 is that this strip is actually reflective. Um, so most of my rucking is done in the early morning before the sun comes out, before this crazy Tampa heat kicks in. Um, so, you know, I don't even really need these reflective strips. I had these reflective strips on my old bag because there weren't any built-in reflections to them. Um, and so because I had these strips, I just figured I'd throw it on this one. Uh, but that reflective strip built into it, I think is very, very critical. Also, I specifically waited for this Coyote color to come back into stock before I ordered the Rucker 3.0. I knew I needed a 25 liter and I wanted Coyote. Um, and so I waited and waited and waited until they came back into stock. And when they came back in and I got that email, I jumped on it. So, you know, I'm really, really pumped about this color. Most of my stuff, as you can probably see, um, is just black on black on black on black. Um, I have a, an EDC backpack that's black. And so I wanted to get something a little bit different. Um, and so I went with the coyote color. I think I made a good choice. All right, so let's jump into the inside of this bag. Um, and we're actually gonna jump over to the floor uh, because I'm gonna do some plate compatibility comparison tests. Okay, so before we talk about the, what can fit in the Rucker 3.0, um, I'm just gonna show you what I did for my original bag, okay? What the old Levi did. Um, and this bag, let me just uh, rip that apart. Oh, sick. Um, okay, so the way that I loaded my old bag, um, I literally had these plates and I didn't even take it out of the cardboard. That's how crazy I was. Look, like I'm definitely bougie in some ways, but I'm also like a hustler in other ways. So, you know, sometimes I just don't care about, about how fancy things are. So my old bag, I had this 25 pound plate and I actually kept it in the cardboard box. Um, and I'll tell you why here in a second. So I kept it in the cardboard box and it would sit right on the back of this backpack. Then I would increment the weight in these tens. And I just put these 10 pound, like old school steel plates right in on top of them. Okay, so I had a 35 and then another 10 would get me to 45 total pounds um, when I wanted to go that heavy. So. The 25 always stayed in the cardboard, and then I had these extra 10 pound chips that I could just throw in there, okay? So that's how my original bag was set up. All right, so the reason that I went with the 25 liter, and maybe I'm wrong on this, so if somebody has a correction, please correct me, but I think that the 25 liter Rucker 3.0 is the only rucksack that GORUCK makes with two plate pockets. I think that's accurate. And so I was a little concerned that my 
original system wasn't going to work out. Um, I didn't really know how the plates would fit in these two pockets. Okay, so we've got two plate pockets here in the 25 liter uh, rucksack and I wasn't sure how this was all going to work. Now, I do have the ruck plate carrier um, and the plates that are designed to fit in this are a little bit different sized and shapes uh, than some of these generic ones. So I think GORUCK makes plates that are shaped like this and then they make plates that are shaped like this as well. All right, so, all right, so as you can see, this is a completely different shape, okay? And I, I had this already, I had the ruck plate carry already. Um, that's something that I use at the gym uh, with my clients all the time, uh, but I didn't wanna be packing that back and forth between my house and the gym. Um, and I, and I wanted to, I, I just wasn't sure how this was going to work. So when I first got the Rucker 3.0, I was loading it with the 25 pounder in the back pocket that I already had. And then instead of using these 10 pound chips, I was sliding the second 20 pounder, and this one's from Go Ruck, into this front pocket. Boom, okay? And then when you close this huge Velcro tab, this thing fits really, really nice and secure, all right? So I've got 45 pounds now stacked up. So again, I, I really wanted to just leave that ruck plate carrier at the gym. I don't wanna have to worry about bringing things back and forth between my house and the gym and all that stuff. Um, so I took this out and I just said, forget it. I'm not gonna mess with that. And I considered putting you know, these 10 pound plates just in the bag or something like that. I wasn't really sure um, what was going to happen. Uh, but then Amazon Prime Day came around. And on Amazon Prime Day, this generic plate was $19. So if you know anything about weight and lead weight and cast iron weight and stuff, you know that $19 for a 20 pound plate is an absolute steal. Um, so I ordered it. I figured, you know, what the heck, I'll figure out a way to use it one way or another. Worst case scenario, I've got an extra 20 pound plate sitting around. I can live with that. I can figure out some way to use that. Um, so this plate arrived and I assumed that it would not fit in this front pocket. And it does not fit there. So then I thought, all right, I'll just use that same strategy that I used in the old bag, the old Levi strategy, and I'll just keep it in the cardboard so it doesn't rip up the bag, and I'll just let it loose inside the bag, right? Well, that doesn't really fit. But then I realized that this plate can also slide in the back. There's enough space in there to get both plates in that back pocket, and honestly, it's a pretty snug fit. So now I can crank down that tab and I've got 45 pounds in that back pocket. So the gamble paid off. I can now slide a 25 pound and a 20 pound plate into that back pocket all by themselves. Um, tighten this up. This 20 pound plate can stay in the ruck plate carrier and can stay at the gym. Um, and I don't have to worry about bringing it back and forth. So all in all, um, this is the Rucker 3.0. Um, it fits two separate plates for me, um, and it's got plenty of space to add more if I decide to do that. I mean, I could even throw one of these 10-pounders in there um, and get this thing to 55 pounds, no problem. Um, so this thing can hold a ton of weight. I wish that I could tell you uh, that the design of this thing makes 45 pounds feel like 35, uh, but unfortunately, um, even after going out there five or six times, uh, putting in a couple miles each time, 45 pounds is still 45 pounds. Um, honestly, it still sucks just as bad. The only difference is that this is a lot more comfortable. Um, and instead of thinking about the shoulder straps digging into my shoulders, um, or thinking about that waistband just rubbing me, you know, rubbing me the wrong way across my waist, you know, I can just think about the ruck, um, or and I can just think about, you know, the audio book that I'm listening to, um, or something like that. So. You know, unfortunately, they, uh, Go Ruck has not figured out a way to engineer um, their rucksacks to make weight feel lighter. Um, you're going to have to keep working on that Go Ruck. Uh, however, it is much more comfortable and it provides a lot less distraction. So 
you know, you're not worried about discomfort, you're just worried about the work. Overall, I'm very happy that I bought this. Um, this is gonna last me forever if it ever does get damaged. You guys know that GORUCK has their SCARS program. Um, I can send this in and they'll fix it up for me and send it back. So I appreciate that they stand by their product and they take care of their customers. Um, that's definitely not gonna happen with a cheap rucksack. All right, I'm actually gonna throw this on now. I'm gonna load this up. I've got a two mile loop that I'm gonna hit. Um, and then I'm gonna hit a session here in the gym. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some of this stuff live. You know, that's the, that's the kind of stuff that I post uh, day to day on Instagram. And then feel free to check out some of the other rucking videos that I've made. Um, I've got a handful of them at this point. So, you know, links to all that will be in the description below. But in the meantime, train hard, live full, and I will see you in the next video.